sparks fly. As 23-year-old Abby Seward uses a welding torch to perform what's called a stick weld on a rectangular plate of carbon steel. Seward is a junior mechanical welder at the NASA White Sands Test Facility located northeast of Las Cruces as part of the Johnson Space Center in Houston. She says she took a career and technical education course in welding her senior year at Mayfield High School, which quickly became her favorite class. But after graduating in 2013, Seward says she had a tough time deciding which career path to follow during her freshman year at New Mexico State University. I was 18, I was just excited to buy a lotto ticket, like how am I supposed to decide what I need to do for the rest of my life? So I decided to transfer to DACC, the community college. I enrolled in the welding technology program and I was doing it more a uh, space holder so I figured out what career path I wanted. Well, I graduated with a welding technology degree in 2015 and I started out at White Sands, NASA White Sands Test Facility less than a year later. Seward is one of more than 600 employees working at NASA's test facility. Since 1963, the site has played a key role in aerospace operations, including testing rocket engines for NASA, the Department of Defense, and private firms. Seward works in the site's precision machining and fabrication facility for Engineering Research and Consulting Incorporated, one of five companies at the site doing test contracting work for NASA. My President and CEO Ernie Wu yeah. says non-traditional employees like Abby continue the company's goal of pushing boundaries. It's about NASA as well. What's, what's possible for humanity to travel to other planets, to other parts of the solar system, to other parts of space? And it's that ability to dream. Uh, somebody like Abby brings that, that imagination, that drive, that ambition to do something that other people don't think is possible. While efforts have increased to diversify the mechanical and aerospace engineering field, there's a wide gender gap in Seward's industry. Just 4.5% of welding, soldering, and brazing workers in the U.S. are women, according to 2017 data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But the Bureau also projects employment in welding and similar occupations will grow 6% between 2016 and 2026. That's encouraging news, as the American Welding Society has predicted a shortage of 400,000 welding operators by 2024. Filling that workforce gap means growing and training workers with hands-on skills. Adam Erian is Facilities Director and Deputy General Manager for Jacobs Engineering Group Incorporated, a principal contractor at the site. Erian says aerospace employers look for candidates with experience that sets them apart. You want to try and hire the best person possible with the exact skill set that you won't want, and you don't always get the exact skill set, but when you see something like the CTE, that raises, that separates, that's a separator, and that's what we're looking for. And the experience is huge too. When you see an individual who's actually had like a summer job and worked in the summers and goes to school and you know they're hands-on, again it leads to they've got a work ethic and that's huge as well. While southern New Mexico is home to a substantial aerospace industry, many in the region don't know what takes place at the federal facility. Erian says the level of testing the site performs makes it a unique workspace. From the hypervelocity testing where you shoot a particle at a very high rate of speed to see what it's going to do on impact, to something that's actually in orbit, to uh, testing an engine, a one-of-a-kind engine, or helping with uh, the Missile Defense Agency, or uh, the Japanese Space Agency, or, or commercial providers. We do so many different things out here, from chemistry labs, to machine shops, to welding, to clean rooms, to, you know, we have HVAC technicians. It's like a little city. Seward says she thinks it's, quote, pretty rad to know her work as a welder is helping to advance space travel. The path to Mars is through NASA White Sands Test Facility, and that's just something we say around here, and it's true. It's true. I build piping systems. I do test stands so we can bring in more work. Just the work I do for NASA itself, as well as our other contractors, is awesome. It's very exciting. It's thrilling. And just to know that what I'm contributing will is being utilized and is just going to change the way we see our future. Along with work, Seward is pursuing another associate's degree at Doniana Community College in business management. She says other students interested in technical careers should take a mix of classes to find what they like best. For her, that's bonding metal. 
I just love to weld. It's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it, I think you should. Just kind of experience it. It's just very soothing. It's kind of a meditation when you have your hood down and you're, you're just laying beads. It's pretty rad. But working out here is just a lot of the fun projects. The people are awesome. The environment's good. And I just, it's a great place to work. I feel I got really lucky starting out and this is my first job. That's awesome. As Seward works to build on her skills in and out of the workshop, the projected need for welders may make her career prospects white hot. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Michael Hernandez.